welcome back. So today I'm going to clean the house. So this is my Monday motivation cleaning videos. Um, I'm going to just clean the kitchen, the living room, the entryway, like hallway, wood floor, and probably the front bathroom. Uh, and then I am going to decorate for a birthday party in the house. And I'm going to show you guys how I make a, um, a little, I'm just going to make kind of a mini balloon arch to go on our archway right here in the, like between the living room and the kitchen. I'm going to do that. Um, I'm probably going to show you guys a few random things that have happened in the last couple months because I know I've been MIA for a while with cleaning videos. So I am going to hang up. Also, I got this sticker sheet. If you saw my video, um, it was either Friday or Saturday that I stuck it out. I just don't know yet because it's only Thursday right now. So I've got a Dollar Tree video. If you missed it, check it out. I have a... Um, like a sticker, like this thing up here, like a sticky thing for the wall. But I got one for the um, laundry room from the Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna show you guys that. I'm gonna stick that up in there because I gotta clean the laundry room too because there's cat litter everywhere today. He had a he had a fun time in there today while I was at work. So we're gonna get that cleaned up and then I gotta run to the grocery and get stuff so I can make tacos tomorrow and then do some editing tonight. But I think that's all I've got on my list, but I just, the house is not that bad. It's just that I've got little piles I need to vacuum because it's that time of the week and it's time to vacuum. Okay, so let's get this started. We've had this conversation and you seem to agree with me. But when there's complications, you withdraw and leave me to be. When there's a problem, you become like a wall. And every time I trip, it's a free fall. Why don't you have? Let's see what happens here. So I have up on the wall up here, 
uh, this thing up. So up here, I've got the laundry thing up there with the little dots, and then I've got a little laundry room picture for the cat food behind the door, so you can't push the door open. But I'm trying to decide if I put it on like this wall, since there's nothing here other than the vacuum, or if I want to put it like up above the door, because I can't put it behind with the washer and dryer because I've got the tile back here, but it might even be cute like right here, but you won't be able to see it other than me, but I'm the only one that comes in here. Or I can just put it here on this wall. Maybe I'll just fit it here on this wall. Yeah. So they have a wash dry fold repeat. Okay. I'm gonna make sure I get this straight. So I would recommend maybe using a level, but that's not how I roll. Okay, so we're gonna pull off the word wash. Oh dang. Oh dang, that will leave. Mm, gotta be careful. Kind of ripped it a little bit. Dang. Ugh. Oh, we're starting. Okay. Just show what I mean. So you take it off in the ends. So the wash word, you see how the W is missing like a bottom? The H tried to do it, and then the top of the W tried to do it, but I got it saved. You see where it's like kind of. I don't know, can't see it. I'm gonna put this part on first. These actually do come off pretty well. I had all these on in the guest bedroom one time and it did come off pretty well. made like fully on the like on the edges. I'm not a patient person. Okay, so wash. I'll put the washer machine right here next to it. Taking me away. 
So, like I said, it's just a little teeny tiny little birthday party. Just a couple family coming over. Um, so, I'm going to start by making the balloon wall. And I'm going to time lapse that for you. But I'm going to tell you what I'm going to use. And I will insert a picture right here from the last balloon wall. I'm sorry, my clock. Um, my last balloon wall that I did, I did an arch. And it was huge. But I used chicken wire. So... If you guys want to know how I did that, I'll let you know how I did that. It's not hard at all, but it's just, it's huge. And I don't need one that big right now. So I bought four packs of the six latex balloons that are the confetti balloons. So I'm going to sit over here. I'm going to blow them up. And then I went downstairs and I got just some floral wire. And what my thought is, this arch, so this whole thing's arched here. And what I want to do right here is just maybe bunch them and make a little arch right here. And not make it go all the way across because I don't think I have enough balloons. So if I just bunch them right here into maybe like a little six foot section i think it'll be good so i'm going to work on that blow up these balloons and then i'll show you how i take the wire pin it and then use packing tape to get the balloons to stick to the pack the wire so i'll show you guys that so i've got the first six blown up i'm just going to do it package by package so i am going to go ahead and show you guys how i do the wire I need to find wire okay, so I've got my wire hung. I don't know. I can take you over here and show you what it kind of looks like. I don't know if you can see it or not, though. It's pretty thin wire. Um, it's right here-ish. Right here -ish. And it's hanging down just a little bit here, and it's, it's right over here. So all I used was thumbtacks, and I just stuck them on the wall because it makes tiny, tiny holes in your wall. So it's easy to fix if you can see them. It's not, it's not that big of a hole. So now what I'm going to do is get the balloons. And then I'm going to get some packing tape. So I get packing tape, and all you need is like probably like this much, like maybe an inch and a half, maybe two inches of packing tape. And then what you do, I love these balloons, is you take it and you tape it to your balloon like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to wrap it around the wire. So, that one is going to be like that. So that's how you're going to start building um, the arch. And then once I get enough big ones in, what I can do is take the smaller ones and actually just stick them in here. So I'll show you how I do that, but that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to try to build this wall, this little wall up here. So I'm going to set you guys over here. It's take the smaller balloon that I blew up because I blew them up at different sizes and I just wrapped a piece of tape like you know when you just wrap it up and make a little tube so I'm going to do that but then I'm just going to stick it in there to make it fuller so you don't use so many big balloons and don't have a lot of open space so what I'm going to do is take this balloon and probably stick it right about here-ish so that it's stuck to both and then I'm going to start building that's how I'm going to start building that wall up so that tape is going to stick it's going to stick in here it's not a big deal if you're outside <coughs> you could use a heavier duty tape but you just have to be careful once you get the tape on the balloon sometimes you pull it off it's going to pop it so don't do that so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to continue to build my little wall
don't, I know a lot of people will lay things on the ground and then build the wall from there. I have to have it hanging. So when I built my last one, I mean, it was big. And it was, like I said, with chicken wire, that one's so much fun to do. But I have to be able to see what I'm doing. I have to, like, visually see everything that I do. So there's that. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to go blow up some more balloons. And then I'm going to start putting it together. side today and I don't know why I did that but here we are so day two today is the birthday party so I want to show you guys everything that I got done and what I made for just dinner I wanted to do something really quick and easy so if everybody just didn't want to eat but they had an option to of stuff to eat so let me show you I made cheese dip with Velveeta and salsa so it's in there melting right now it's the easiest thing you can make so I put it in there on high on the crock pot. I don't even know if I want to get that off. Oh, that's hot actually. <laughs> I am defrosting the meat right now. But I'm gonna make tacos and then I'm just gonna stick them in the crock pot just so they can stay warm and then everything should be fine. So what I did with that streamer stuff is just stream it up here along the top. This kind of stuff stresses me out because it uh, isn't like perfect and it just is like strung out. <laughs> I hung up those yellow pom-poms that I got up here on the light fixture. And then I hung up some more of the stringer stuff along here. And then in here, don't mind our box fan. It helps move the air in this room. It's just hot in here. Um, I just took the extra streamer stuff and just threw it up there this morning. I'm like, I didn't want to throw it away. I wanted to use it. So I just kind of like haphazardly threw it up there. But I put two more um, little pom-poms on there. I put the happy birthday sign here. And then that one, the party one I put here. And then my balloon wall. So here's the balloon arch, just a small one. I wish that I would've gotten, if I would've got one more pack, so that was four pack, so 24 balloons. If I would've got one more, I would've been able to fill in this section up here, but it's okay, it's cool. So then I put the other party thing that says celebrate up here. And all I did was use tape like packing tape but um i absolutely love these confetti balloons and they're so cute they're so cute so yep that's the balloon wall for right now so that's all i really did was just kind of decorate the kitchen in there once i pull the cake out i'll show you guys what the cake looks like oh my god i i haven't done a cleaning video in a long time <laughs> do you see this over here yeah that's the wall that I'm gonna try to not show you guys in videos because I'm not real happy with it. So yeah, it's the carpet too. You can see where the fish tank was. Um, so the fish tank leaked a couple times and we finally had enough of it. So the fish tank is gone. Um, somebody took the fish tank. We know where it's at. The fish are safe. The fish, all the fish lived in transport. So everybody's good. So the fish tank is not here and it's on level ground. It's just, it. I don't think that was a good place for it. I, oh, the cat puked. My work never ends. It just doesn't end. That's okay. I'm going to clean the front bathroom right now. I'm going to finish that. I re-vacuumed. So I always, when I do a party or I have people over, I'll clean the day before, but then the day of, I'll come back home and I'll vacuum and just kind of wipe stuff up just from the night before. I did dishes this morning before I left for work. And then, yeah, I came home, picked up the cake. I'll show you guys the cake here in a little bit. It's really cute. Um, but yeah, this is clean with me. Decorate. I appreciate you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Remember, Mondays are my cleaning motivation days. Thursdays are my theme park updates. The theme park. That's going to be, yeah. I'm pretty sad about Halloween Horror Nights right now. So. so, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you would like to subscribe, I would, oh, oh. If you haven't subscribed, I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel. Remember to hit the notification bell down below to be reminded every time I do upload a new video. Bye, guys.